cell of prints. You can see that there is a sheet metal hopper. And today I am going to show you how to make this sheet metal hopper in SOLIDWORKS. So let's begin. Set first, just click here and select part. Okay. Now from sketch, just select top plane and click uh, click on the sketch. Okay. Now from here, select sector uh, center rectangle and from the center point, draw rectangle. Okay. Uh, now go to smart dimensions and take the length. 250 millimeter and the width is 150 millimeter okay now select fillet and take the fillet radius 10 millimeter <coughs> that is okay now select the whole area so all the sides are selected okay exit now select circle and at this point draw a circle okay now select smart dimensions and take the diameter 4 millimeter okay now select trim entities and just delete this part trim this part okay now select this circle and make it for construction okay okay now exit now select top plane sketch go to features okay exit from here now click on reference geometry and select plane and click here select top plane okay now we have got another plane and it will be 200 millimeter distance will be 200 millimeter okay now click on spacebar normal to now go to sketch again and from here select a rectangle circle Okay, rectangle circle okay so like this pen okay rectangle circle now draw a circle okay now select this line press on control okay exit select this line press on control and select this line okay okay not okay actually Select this line, press on control, select this line and make them equal. Okay. Now again select this line, press on control. Now this line, this third line and fourth line and make them for construction. Okay. Okay, so actually okay. Uh, it will go back. Okay. Actually, uh, select this line, press on control and select this line and make equal. Okay, now go to smart dimension and make it 100. Okay, now select fillet, now make it 47 millimeter. Okay, now select the whole rectangle. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, now again select rectangle. And okay. From the center point, the rectangle of the previous rectangle dimension okay now select this line press on control now select second line third line 
and fourth line. Okay, not order actually. Now select this line again and select the first line, second line, third line, and the fourth line. And options for construction. Okay, now there is a line. Now you can delete this line. Okay, now select line and from this point draw one line. Okay, and repeat the line command again, and also from this point draw another line. Okay, now go to smart dimension, and from this point to this point. Okay, keep the distance four millimeter. Okay. Okay. Now press or uh, select this this part this line, so this uh, arc actually, and press on control, select this line. And make the relation tangent. Okay. Now again select this line, select this uh, arc, and make the relation tangent. Okay. Okay. Exit. Now go to sheet metal. Select lofted band. Okay. Now select here. Now select this point. Now this point and okay. So we have got the hopper. Now you can keep the thickness two millimeter. Okay. Okay, now we can hide the plane one. Okay. Now, if you want, you can flatten this part. This is the flatten part, and remove the flatten. So it will come back to the original shape. Just wait for that one. Okay. Now we need to edit this hopper. Okay, now select edge plunge. I just click here. I'm just bringing out the edge. Okay, another edge. Okay, now this will be zero degree actually. Okay, now check this one. This is not actually horizontal to the plane. So just uh, remove this one. Cancel. Select top plane, sketch, and click on spacebar. Select normal too. Okay. Now select circle and at the point draw a circle. Okay. Okay. Now go to surface and select planar surface. Okay. So this planar surface will be our reference point. Okay. Okay. Now, put sheet metal and select edge flange. Now, just bring some flange. Okay. Okay. Now. Make the angle zero degree. So just click here for our reference, and now select this planar surface. Okay, now this part is horizontal completely. Now take this line thirty millimeter and make this one inner virtual sharp, and this one just bend outside. Okay. Okay. Now we need we leave this part and this part. So for this one, again select 
edge flange. Now just bring out this part. Also this part. Now just hide this one and make it to zero degree. Now again click uh, the reference and select this plane. Okay, now it is again horizontal. Now length 30 millimeter and this two will be as usual like the previous one. Okay. Now our hopper is complete. Now we need to just apply the material and color. Now click here appearance. Now from appearance select metal and select steel. And I'm just selecting a stainless steel treat plate. Okay, now yes, I need to paint paint this one. I need to apply color. So you can select any color from here. Just applying this color. Okay. So our hopper is complete. Also, you can need the perspective. Okay. Also, you can change the background. Top. Okay, now it looks better. Okay, now so you can apply. No, previous one is better. Okay. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.